right good morning you guys today we're actually gonna be doing something quite a bit different now I'm actually here today to go fishing as you see I got my poles all rigged up inside of here but being the photographer I am the Sun is gonna be rising up at 5 45 a.m. and I want to do some long exposures on the Pentax 6 7 now I haven't done a lot of long exposures especially oh shit especially being a medium format so this is going to be very interesting for me and it's also going to be a first but here is the very first spot we're actually in benicia california you can see like a little ship wreckage here off the little edge um and yeah i'm going to try to get some long exposures before the sun comes up the time is now what time is it sun rises up at 5 45 and it is 5 39 right now so i'm going to go ahead and get set up and i'm going to try to get this framed in perfectly All right, guys, now for film today, we are going to be shooting the lowest ISO speed film that I can find in my fridge, and that is Lomo 100. And I actually wanted to shoot some black and white with this today, um, but I might just have to digitally manipulate that later for some black and white. Uh, but for right now, we just have Lomo 100 in 120 film. So I'm going to get that stuff loaded. I'm going to get set up, and I think my first composition is going to be a vertical of that boat right over there. All right, so here's the deal. Now, I've only shot a handful of long exposures before and I don't have like a proper meter to actually meter this stuff with. So I'm gonna be using my phone apps that I have here. Um, and I have two different apps that I'm gonna read off of. The first one is called My Light Meter app. It's a free app on the App Store. No, it is not sponsoring this video at all. These apps are not sponsoring at all. Um, but you know, that meter has been proven to work for me over the long run and so I still use it. And then I'm going to be testing out a new app that I've seen on the... Actually, a lot of people have been using it, and it's called uh, Lux Light Meter. And Lux Light Meter is supposedly supposed to be, you know, one of the better light meters for the iPhone or Android. I believe it's on Android. Don't quote me on that. But here we go. We have the 6.7 loaded up. Uh, again, we're going to be shooting 100 ISO film. And the lens that I have on here today, you guys, is the 105 2.4... <laughs> my Filipino accent came out. 105 2.4 Super Takumar. So really dope lens. I'm actually going to take the top off here um, and set up the tripod. So there she is seated on her throne. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this off really quick. And bam. Okay, lens is reattached and we are good to go. My first composition, I'm thinking of doing something with maybe the rope chain but also just look at the water it's so beautiful um maybe a little bit of the foreground but definitely that is my main focus right there so here we go this is what the field of view looks like just straight out of the camera um, and this is in landscape so i'm gonna frame this up real quick i'm gonna put the camera down and then we'll get on to you know taking the photo and actually doing this all right so we're gonna be using a cable release here um, especially if i'm gonna be at like one second i don't want to mess it up so um, you know, the, I'm going to show you guys my composition really quick and talk to you guys a little bit about, you know, why I'm choosing to frame it this way. And I actually think that I'm going to do the first one here as a, uh, as a landscape instead of a vertical. So here we go. F22. Focus to infinity. All right, you guys, here we go. Here's my first composition. Um, the sun is just about coming up and you're starting to get those really nice colors there um, out on the Carquinas Bridge and then, you know, the blue hue of the sky and then you can kind of see the sun coming up. So here we go, you guys. I'm gonna show you guys again my metering. We're supposed to be sitting here at just about, you know, if we're going according to this meter, F22 is gonna be about two seconds. All right, and actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bracket these shots. So I'm going to start it off here at a one second exposure. So here we go. Three, two, and one. Okay. So that's a one second. And then let's go on bulb. And then let's hold that for two seconds here. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go on bulb here. We're going to hold this for two seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and one, two. All right, two second exposure there. So that's our first composition. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Um, maybe I'll get something along the lines of using this little ridge here as a leading line. Hello, bird. All right, 
guys so here we go we're gonna go ahead and try a vertical of the composition same composition instead this is in vertical here we go f22 we should be focused here at infinity all right here's the one second exposure oh wait maybe it'd help if i advance the film okay let's go ahead and bracket that again let me just adjust the composition once more so I just realized now that the sun is peeking up you have this really really beautiful kind of like glow into the air and if you look at the boat I think this is a scrapyard I'm not completely sure but there's that American flag I'm gonna try to set up a little composition with that and then later on I'm gonna use this curb here kind of as a leading line I legitimately thought that was a person just standing there just now my heart is racing all right you guys so here is what we're working with for the next composition we have that curb kind of acting as a leading line here um, and then we're gonna have this statue which I thought was like a legitimate person my heart is still racing because it was just standing there the whole entire time uh, and then that's gonna have you know kind of a silhouette there and yeah we're still shooting at one second here at f22 and you know I'm not an expert in landscape photography whatsoever actually were to categorize me i would be a complete rookie at landscape photography knowing that maybe i should have invested in something like an nd filter but we'll get into that later on i think that would be super beneficial um i really want to slow some of this water down though but if it's at a one second exposure i mean you're not going to be able to horizons look good composition looks mighty fine and here we go in three two and one one second exposure f22 focus to infinity here we go Oh, what an idiot. I have it. Oh Three, two, and one. Beautiful. All right. Excuse me, Miss Lady. You scared the living shit out of me. So there was actually a full moon last night which excites me for fishing um, but right now it's just about golden hour i mean just look how beautiful this american flag looks right now just majestically floating in the air um yeah but the light looks really nice this is the pier that i'm actually going to go fishing on throughout the day though i'm going to take these photos i don't think they're going to be any more long exposures simply just because i don't have the proper equipment i don't have an nd filter um uh, and yeah i mean there's not going to be too much long exposures from here on out but what i am going to do is i'm going to start fishing and then when i see something that i want to take a photo of i'll take a photo of it and shout out to mr duck for sticking along here i don't know what he's eating on but yeah you good bro i think he's good these are my boots I just wanted to talk about getting out there with your camera because you know I've gotten into the routine over the last couple of months just working on the zine to going to San Francisco every single weekend and photographing the streets and it got so repetitive that I didn't I wouldn't say I lost joy for it because I still really very much enjoyed it but I lost the joy of like you know just being able to appreciate photography in itself and I think going out today was very much needed for the Pentax 67 you know pushing myself out of that comfort zone of shooting long exposure shooting medium format and really just trying my best to you know be creative and see what I can make out of nothing and you know if you don't bring your camera out there with you you're not going to be able to make photos and so that's what you know kind of the idea of today was supposed to be to get out there with my camera to make some photos and to really just soak it in again and really just learn to love and enjoy photography even more than I already do so if you guys are in that creative rut or if you guys feel like you can't find a way to make any more good photos take a step away from what you usually do and try your best to venture out into different genres so thank you guys for watching another king james video i will update you guys if i catch a fish here or sooner or later whatever um but yeah it looks really good today but um thank you guys for watching again as always minolta gang <laughs>